and welcome to another edition of Homemade Jam. The heat is turned up already. I got a feeling this is going to be a good show this week. I'd like for you to welcome to the kitchen two gentlemen who have uh, traveled over from Grand Falls, Windsor to have a little kitchen party with us this week. Ed Power. Hello, Dave. How are you? Welcome aboard. And uh, you brought along a friend of yours as well, Nish Paul. Welcome aboard. Thank you, you got the comfy spot over there. Just in case you give out halfway through, you can fall back on the day bed and okay. we'll carry on. Okay. <laughs> All right. He loves the day bed. <laughs> Ed, uh, we, uh, well, actually, you got in contact with me back, uh, I guess, about a month ago, I suppose, and informed me that you had just released a brand new album. Yes. And uh, it was actually perfect to fit in here because it's all kitchen songs and kitchen parties and good times. So we decided to get together and uh, do a show and pass on some of the good music. Now, uh, you've got some original music on the album and right. some other traditionals as well. The first one we're going to do is actually a traditional one, and it's one of yours. Tell us a little bit about That's that one. one uh, I was sitting by the river one time in my cabin there on the Exploits River, and I thought about, you know, the beautiful scenery that Nouvelland had, the animals, and the, especially the people, the hospitality. So I decided mm -hmm. to put together a song, and when I recorded this CD and tape, it was the first one on there, and a lot of people have told me that they really like it because it says a lot about Newfoundland. Mm -hmm. It's called our Newfoundland home. Okay, it's been getting some radio play, and oh, yes. uh, now we're going to give it some television. Thank you very much. All right. Where the Atlantic meets our coastline on a rugged western shore, you can always find a welcome to Newfoundland and Labrador. Where the Biafik and the Micmac roam and the famous Badger Drive is sung around the campfire as we keep our dreams alive. The majestic moose in abundance in the stands of spruce and fir, crossing streams and rivers, causing wild ducks to stir, and the beauty of those valleys where the lakes and ponds do lie. And the setting of the summer sun as it reddens the evening sky. So come on here to Newfoundland to see our island home. And on to mighty Labrador where Kabu herds the roam. Where fishing is a way of life upon the rolling sea. And amidst the warmth and friendliness is hospitality. Where the people only greet you, a lesson you will learn. Though they give you everything they can, they take nothing in return. But they treasure all those memories, yes, the years gone by. And they welcome you back here again with a twinkle in their eye. So come on here to Newfoundland, the see our island home. And on to mighty Labrador, Kabu herds the roam. For fishing is the way of life upon the rolling sea. And amidst the warmth and friendliness is hospitality. So come on here to Newfoundland, the sea our island home. And on to mighty Labrador, Kabu herds the roam. Fishing is a way of life upon the rolling sea, and amidst the warmth and friendliness is hospitality. Yes, amidst the warmth and friendliness is hospitality. Uh, that's a nice way to start things off. Thank you very much, Dave. Now, there's uh, some artists in uh, this province of ours who have influenced a lot of people over the uh, last oh, close to 20 years now i suppose and uh, there's one duo in particular that i think as soon as you mention their name everybody sort of sits up and says yeah that's a good uh, good representative of uh, our music and our heritage and those two guys who call themselves simini 
Oh, they're fantastic. And uh, they uh, put out a song back some time ago that we're going to do now, and it's all about a vessel called the Marion. Yeah, the Marion is a true story, too. Mm -hmm. In 1915, on the 10th day of June, I first walked the Marion Lane. All engaged for the banks of what's custom to do, all loaded with capelin for bay. Well, a wind from the northwest, a fine summer's breeze, as I jumped from St. Jack's these stairs. And the men in the falls so prepared for that night, when they'd all go ashore in St. Pierre. Some were uneasy, there'd be trouble, they said, for I don't was in order to fight. And the cafe to France on the last trip he made, a Frenchman had threatened his life. The challenge to fight was issued that night, when she French liquor and free. And the French captain, too, told the Marion crew he would answer their challenge at sea. Next day, the Marion set sail again, and so to the storm he relays. All the French being trawler for coast in that day, and followed close by in her way. She's a fortune day schooner sailing out for with a fine crew of fortune they men And some on the key now were rumored to say She'd never be heard from again The fate that befell the Marion's crew That schooner may never be known Not a trace or a good fighting was ever again To be found by those awaiting at home some say the captain was true to his word. Some say he confessed for he died. That he scuttled the schooner, lost all her men, not taken one man or the side. Families of skinners and ballast and boils grieve for their loved ones on shore. And the stories of schooners that are lost on the sea are told us so often before. She's a fortune day schooner sailing out for the banks with a plain forty fortune day men. And some on the key now were rumored to say she'd never be heard from again. But some on the key now were rumored to say she'd never be heard from again. 